So, dear friends, friends of the Wicked Whiskers Shaving Channel, the time has come. Let's try out this Pearl Slick uh, Single Edge Shaving Razor. First of all, as I displayed on the unboxing video, I just flip apart the top cap and the bottom. For this round, I'll be using the Permasharp blade, so if you have an entire blade, you just do this until it snaps. And then, to avoid any risks of cutting, you just tear them apart and you have one nicely secured for the some other day. So here it is, one Permasharp. As the last time, I'll try to put it this way so you can see. It's put on the place. The magnet is preventing it to drop, see? And it didn't move, so maybe this is focused better. I will try not to forget my first remark on this razor meaning that the head is self-centering, so I won't be touching it too much with my fingers. So just swirling. And guess what? Nice, perfect alignment. So everything seems to be okay. It's finger tight, so don't force anything, because all these parts are pretty delicate and you don't really need that much of a strength force on closing. I do have prepared my leather, so I will wet my face a little bit and start with it. The soap of choice for today is Arco without any particular reason I'm simply using it whenever I need some fatty slickness because of the tallow base and uh, frequently I use it it gets a little bit more and more pliable, so it is definitely much softer and gentler as you continue to use it. So, for a daily shaves, I would just use most cases just the latest gear which I used, and since this is only a single day of a beard growth. I will use only that much, so not a big deal. I have a little bit soapy fingers and I don't feel that this is terribly, you know, sliding, slippery, so it seems to be okay. And without that endings, it's a little bit difficult to clean the sideburns, but Let's go. So far, I must say that this is very, very close. Also, rinsing very well. This large gap is just constructional because on the sides, as you can see, I don't have the feel that the blade is actually floating in the air because maybe it's just the head design. I feel the blade pretty tucked in, so 
maybe I do have some opinion right now but I will complete my shave or at least first pass before declaring anything It's a single edge, so... I need to rinse it out a little bit more frequently than the E-blade. As you can see, always easy to clean. I think that <clears throat> and the shave angle is a little bit, uh, you know, the handle is somehow too close to the face. So the shave dynamic is very similar to cartridge razors. a couple of weepers but in terms of efficiency it is doing excellent job no dispute on that and the weight and the size everything is very ergonomical It maybe feels a little bit too uh, familiar because I'm definitely going a little bit too fast with a brand new razor. But really don't feel any issues. Neither in shave. in terms of cutting power or on the skin as some sort of irritation or you know whatever tiny tiny bit of leftover in here which is my trouble area and I think maybe with all razors I need to repeat a little bit of this but neck cheeks, moustache, everything seems to be quite, quite okay. So maybe I'll just repeat a little bit on the neck, you know, just to test the against the grain movement. But so far the razor is pretty promising. In my unboxing video I was commenting only the looks and how it feels when you open it straight from the box and that was... I felt really positively surprised but you know it's just the looks and not how it works you know with Fatips for example they look very beautiful but your experience can really be unique some people are very content with fatigues, some cannot possibly achieve a decent shave with them, so 
I wanted to make this first time use video just to see how it behaves before I put any comments on that side. Yeah, I won't touch moustaches at all. Let's clean the fingers, so... For the against the grain pass, I think that this curvature of the head is working for me a little bit better than on uh, with the grain or across the grain pass. But you know, I never had this kind of razor. So it could definitely be just a user experience and being able to get accustomed to certain razor geometry. The other thing which I'm noticing is that the face feel the blade feel and overall mechanics, you know, it's not that easily gliding over the skin like the DE blade I think this would be ideal razor for those of you who are using disposable ones, which are getting pretty out of the hand when it comes to price. So with this head design, as you can see, you get the same dynamics as with that cheap disposable razors. Except that you have much more premium product in the hands. And you're using a dirt cheap blade, so... If you dislike safety razors for any reason... Or you just like the shape of the head of traditional traditional disposable cartridges I think that this razor would tick all your boxes with addition that the e blades are cheaper sharper and probably made of more quality steel compared to disposable ones, but for everything else, honestly, zero complaints, really. Everything is smooth, maybe just a little in here. But, as you hear, it's very minimal feedback, so only touch up on the neck and this razor is really good for a first shave no nicks just some regular minor weepers on my trouble chin area so let's have a word of two these vertical grooves actually are grippy I was considered about this flat and smooth surface but honestly, if I would hold it on the very end, I think it would be really difficult to actually catch that angle which is inbuilt in this razor. So I think that somebody at Pearl Shaving really thought about uh, this uh, practical usage. So it's not some CAD designer, this was probably a guy who actually shaved himself once or twice. So, when you grab the razor for this uh, lined portion, for any direction, for any way of gripping, I think that the balance point 
is actually targeted in ideal way. For anything else, you know, like on the top or at the bottom, I don't think that this would actually be the right way to hold and to use this razor. The question for the next time is how one half of the blade can last when I alternate two sides of traditional razor. I can stretch between three and six shaves, but with this one, which does all the work, I don't know, maybe it will be one or two shaves, we will see. But for the first shave ever with the Pearl Slick, you can see the results. I really have nothing to complain about, especially because the razor is real beauty. I don't need to rinse anything because my leather was pretty watery this time, so I'll just splash a little bit of Brion. Mm, no. I don't have any feedback. So... <laughs> Closeness wise and the aftershave feel on the skin <laughs> I would dare myself to say that this one is easily as comfortable as the Hanson. So I'll need to check what is actually the price of this razor, but as you can see it's very nice, it sits on the palm a little bit on the very edge, but for the pinky hold it's perfectly sized. Still, beautiful look, beautiful finishing, self-centering, no issues with the blade, perfectly even on all sides. What can I say? I left without the words. So, I hope you liked this razor, hope you liked my demo. If you like the Wicked Whiskers, consider subscribing, like, share and see you next time. Bye!